Hello sales ninjas! Yesterday I played badminton with my team. It has been a while since I played badminton, but uh, I just love the game. So after playing with the team, my team is actually not that good. So I didn't have the satisfaction of pushing myself, challenging myself because uh, I was way better than them. And then at the end of the game, I saw there were still people right next to my court. So me and VJ, who is actually very good in badminton, I went over and I challenged the other court. I said, hey, do you have anyone else that want to play doubles? I have my team member here, we just finished, maybe we want to play a game. And they said, sure. So two of them played with us and we won. We won set number one and they said, another one. I said, let's go. So we went set number two and we won. So at the end of the game, I was packing my bags and these two went over to talk to four other of their friends. And I overheard this, which is quite funny. So they were saying things like, oh, you know what? Because we have not been playing badminton for a while, these guys look like they're very fit. They were saying things like, yeah, you know, because this court is different. They were just making tons of excuses why they lost. Now the bottom line is, they lost because skill level is not the same. Now while they are motivated to win, we are also motivated to win. So the difference now lies with skills. And they did not admit it. So today's lesson is very simple. People who live in denial, people who love to make excuses, will never improve because they will start blaming things. It's the court, it's the shuttle, it's my racket. And for salespeople, same thing. Why they lose the sale? Why they never achieve their target? Because of, number one, ah, my product is not so good. My customers are cheapskate. They just want to buy from cheaper, competitors, the economy is bad, the market is shrinking, the government is not doing whatever they can to help us out as a commercial company. Tons of reasonings, tons of excuses why they fail. My definition of excuses is very simple. Excuses are reason you fail. So when you fail, you start to justify it, you are making excuses. Now, the key is, if we lose, what do we do? First, we accept the defeat. You know what? I lost the game. Number two, we have to find ways to improve. You know what? What could we have done better so that we could score more points or win the sale? But instead, they went into this doesn't work, that doesn't work, here's why I, I, I failed. He never said we were better because our smashers were stronger. They never say we were better because we work very good as a team. They just don't look at the actual reasons why they lost. So in sales, you got to do proper loss analysis. But today, I don't want to talk about loss analysis. Just know that stop making excuses, accept the defeat that you have lost the sale to your competitor, analyze effectively the skill sets that you have lost. It could be you did not persuade the buyer. It could be you are you did not differentiate between your offerings and your competitors and you failed to highlight the differentiation between your product and another person's product. So look at the skill sets why you fail and, and that's the only way that you can improve or else you will be blaming, you'll be making excuses and you'll be in denial. So today, stop making excuses, look at the reality, accept the defeat and look for ways to improve your skill set and therefore you can win championship win tournament, win the sales game.